Good news, for the first time in this year, we beat Jonathan. Hey guys, what's up? Absolutely back. This week has been very, very tough. Um, a family emergency. As you guys know, family first. So we didn't play. It's been rough, rough for me, but it's okay. But I'm super excited to go back. Uh, we have a great lineup today. I haven't played poker in a long time. Um, I haven't slept. You know, like this family emergency has made me a little sad, but today we have a great, great lineup. We have um, Jonathan, of course. We have Todd, our new friend. We have AJ, we have Ajas, uh, the business owner, we have Jen, and we have Megan. So I think today is going to be a really good comeback. So Jonathan is beating me in this challenge, crazy, like 20K or 30K. I probably won't catch up to him, but I'm going to try my best. So today, just enjoy having fun with the family. And let's see, I'm going to try to, to play my best. Take care, guys. See you guys in the game, bye. And now, let's go to the hands. As you guys know, in Absolute Nuts, we play a lot of games. In this next hand, the game that is relevant is the stand-up game. The stand-up game is named because back in the day, everybody used to stand up and because somebody got tired of playing tight. Everybody was tight, folding, folding, folding. So then decide, hey, why we don't stand up? And if I win a hand and I show, I sit down. The last person, to sit down loses X amount of money to everybody. So now we play it, but we're sitting down. So in our game, if you win a hand, you get a button. The last person to get a button loses 50 or $25 per person. So in this next hand, this is extremely relevant. There is a bottom straddle of $10, small blind calls, big blind calls, UTG calls, our hero, Jonathan, Tom calls, and I decide there is a lot of that money. Probably everybody's going to fold. So I had a brilliant idea to make it $100 with eight, five off. <laughs> and I, I was expecting everybody to fold, easy money, get a button, be safe from the stand-up game. But I got it myself into trouble. Uh, and it's funny because it's literally the first hand of the stream. So we just started the stream, Jonathan is preparing. So I opened to 100, you know, 10X, and the guy in my left, the pharmacist, AJ, he always wins, decides to call. And then Ajas, the business guy, decides to call. And then Jen decides to call. So now, one, two, three, and then Jonathan with poker force, because we know he's our hero, he decides to call. So we are in a hand with eight, five offsuit in middle position. I have two people in position on me. Uh, it's just terrible. <laughs> So, and the flop is seven, jack, five of diamonds. Jen checks, Jonathan checks. I know I have a five, but it's just really hard to bluff here. I decide to give up. So I check, but AJ check and Aja's check. So after everybody check, the turn comes a jack of hearts. Here, with the jack of hearts, I don't know what happened to me. My, my, my train of thought keep going worse and worse and worse. So I thought by Jen checking and Jonathan checking, I'm like, because I'm the initial racer, maybe I can steal the pot. Um, I don't think a lot of people had jacks here. The people in, in position would have bet a jack. The people out of position, I thought they will bet a jack. So right now I want to protect my five. So I decided to bet $200. AJ fold, I was excited. AJ just fold, I was excited. And then Jen shots. And Jim shows for $200 more. Jonathan folds and it goes to me, so it's only $200 more. At this point, I guess I'm poke committed, unless you guys in the chat can tell me, no, David, you're not poke committed, you're always losing here. I don't know. At this point, I'm whatever I call, and <laughs> my, my thought process went terrible and terrible and terrible. Everything went wrong since the $100 pre flop. I don't know. Somehow I lost like $1,000 in this spot. So yeah, I call and I was drawing that. She had King Jack. So <laughs> as play, it was good for her, bad for me, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to win a button, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. Let's move to the next hand. This next hand starts super fun and end up okay, like interesting. But this hand is what makes Absolute Nuts unique and such a different game compared to the other games. You know, there is a straddle of only $10. Small blind calls, UTG calls. Jonathan has seven deuce. And what he decided to do 
he decided to open to $130. So it's super fun, you know, a normal game, this will never happen. And also, Tom in the left decided to call $130. So I look up and I have beautiful Ace King. I decide to race to 400. Straddler folds, small blind folds. The UTG that limps, uh, he's kind of like one of the tightest players in the game. He's trying to give some action. He's playing little by little, but when he goes all in, we are up to a no good. He's flip at best. So I decide to ask how much is it? And I think it's less than 2K. So I'm like, I hope that we're flipping. You know, he's never, ever, ever going to limp shove with ace queen. He will do it with queens, jacks, maybe tens, maybe not. I don't think so tens, but we're blocking ace, aces and kings. So I decide to call, we run it twice and we won the first one. It was fun. We got a king in, right in the window, but then a king in the river, which is bad for us for the second board. We decided to run it twice. In this game, our hero always likes Max Payne. Run it once. I don't care. I choose whatever they want. Usually run it twice, okay. But you know, maybe I'm going to start like our hero and just do it, run it once, Max Payne. So in this case, we run it twice. I think I even asked, hey, do you want to run it twice? I won the first board lost the second board but the fun part of the hand is that everything started with a hundred and thirty dollars raise from seven dudes trying to get the bounty which is absolutely beautiful so guys i am here i start down three thousand dollars i'm almost even megan started with like one thousand dollars she's crushing me in the stupid thing she has like a lot of money and um, Todd here is a super pro. I don't know why we kept inviting I'm, I'm him. I'm down a thousand. Oh, he's down only, only a thousand, bro. Yeah. I was down 3K, bro. So this very next hand is a weird hand. We're playing the stand-up game. I don't have a button, so I decide to straddle in UTG. And UTG plus one decide to re-straddle. Jen decide to call. Jonathan in the button with ace three decide to call. Megan says, ooh and she call and Tom call. I have eight, seven. I decide to call. I think uh, squeezing here, uh, they know me. Remember five minutes ago, I squeezed with almost identically hand, eight, five. So that is medic for squeezing here, also folding. But remember, I don't have a button. So I decide to call. Flop is not the worst, nine, deuce, eight. We had eight, seven. Jen decide to bet $35. Jonathan fold, Megan call, Tom fold. I, you know, I like to check race here with bottom pairs and middle pairs. But in this case, the bet was so small. I think I can call here and raise the turn. That's the line that I took. So I decided to call. Turn was an eight, which is really good. I am aggressive in this game. Remember, we play a lot together. You know, if, if you play in with different people, you don't choose to do different things. So turn is an eight of diamonds and Jen decide to bet $80. Megan call, so I decide, they know me, I'm super aggressive. I think they know I can uh, raise here 10 jack or any straight combo or any other things. So I decide to make it 300. Jen thought for a while, she folded and then Megan decide to call. The river is a six, which for me was perfect. But Megan decided to bet 500. She don't bet on me 500. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams. You know, this is really weird. This is very, very strong because what hand is going to call when I raise the turn and dunk the river when that six come? I guess I didn't think it through. And of course she showed me eight, six. You know, the more I think about it, there is no a lot of hands that I can beat. There is only hands that beat me. Pocket deuces beat me, nines, um, a lot of eights with better kicker, even sixes. So I don't think there is a lot of eight X that I beat. And I don't think Megan is going to dunk $500 with that. So in retrospect, I should have fought, especially the way that she played, you know, after my race in the turn and she calling me and dunking in the river. That's just value is please call me. I just want to get max value. If she check, of course I bet every time, super happy. But when she dunk, the things change a lot. So yeah, retrospect, I think it's a fault. Please guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these hands that I've been playing. Guys, we just finished. I was feeling really, really weak. 
I, I started losing four thousand dollars, and then I broke even. But Megan, seven thousand dollars won today. Look, she has yellows, bro. My very own yellows. Yeah. So, Megan, <laughs> tell us about the seven K win. Is this the biggest win ever? Oh, it is. Really? It's my biggest win. Is the biggest win in Absolute Nuts? Yep. Previously, uh, my biggest win was at the Bellagio 1020. Okay. Now it is here at the Absolute Nuts game. Oh my I god. I ran good. But can you, can you show me the yellows? Oh my oh, god, those are course. so beautiful. Oh, of course. They're gorgeous. I have one, two, three. So, what were the hands? I hear that you, you were lucky against David. I heard that. You, oh. That you had a, like a, yes. a boat. Very beginning of okay. the session here. Me and David both had trip eights. But I rivered a boat. And then, His yeah. eight was had a better kicker than mine, yeah. but the river saved me. So my boat. Dave, Davey was feeling weak. Good news, for the first time in this year, we beat Jonathan. How much did you win? But, but I'm not, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Jonathan just left. So he was massive tilt. Massive tilt. You, you know that. Right? He was a little bit on super tilt. And he had a fucking set of eights. Like, I'm still here, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he had a set of eights. And then he recovered every money, but he lost. Jonathan, you lost? Well, I was I was down only like 600 bucks, and then we did that last flip, and then now I'm down 1100. Yes! Oh, you lost 500 So flips? you're down 1100, and how much am I? 2,250. <laughs> <laughs> but I won! I won, I was down like 7K. So Megan, keep telling us. Uh, any hands? What was the other hand? Another hand. The, the nuts lash, I really thought you were bluffing. I wanted everyone to think huh? I was bluffing. Oh, she, she did it so she good. Been, I thought, oh my god, she's she, totally bluffing. Yeah, she's That's bluffing. like the worst bluff yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. a total bluff. I was going to talk to her after yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, Tom was probably going to bluff here too, because that's yeah. obviously a bluff. So Tom bluffed, and I was sad because I'm like, oh, Megan is going to lose his hands. <laughs> and somehow, she went all in, and Tom's not fault. After that, what else? You keep winning. Well, oh, you won flips. There was a hand, I lost 1,200. Oh, yeah. I, I oh my god, and you still won? Seven I gambled pre-flop. I was just trying to, you know, get in there, and I tried to bluff on the turn, and then on the a very highly coordinated board. on a very coordinated board. There was a flush on board. There was it was king queen ten. There was a flush on the board on the turn. Okay. Where I donk bet, and then he calls seven hundred, and then the river is the worst card to ever try to bluff on in history. It's a jack putting an ace. Any ace makes a flush. That. Yeah. So I gave oh, up was, and I checked. But you also bluff against Jonathan, and you but guys, really yeah. you guys had a little. A blank, I could bluff. You two had a little rendezvous when you bluffed him with his jack, oh, and that's yeah. fine. She had the best one. Okay, guys. Well, David won. Yes. Megan won. Yes. And our crowd favorite, Jonathan Cito, lost. So at least I'm alive in the in the competition with Jonathan. I think I'm down like 8k. You don't think I'm that I'm alive? You don't think we can make it? That's why you keep canceling. Oh, you keep canceling. We keep canceling games. The, the games because so I don't know. I have a, something that Jonathan doesn't. I buy for 5k. So if I got lucky, I can stack people. Jonathan is buying for 1k because he's so busy with the computer and all the stuff. So I can win. You're I can win. So keep watching. Absolute nuts. Bye. Of course I'm going to take advantage of La Familia. <laughs> okay, bye guys.